Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. As you can see, I have uh, two boxes to open here, and these two are related. You can probably tell by the picture that it's an audio recorder. This is the new Zoom H1N, which is an update to um, my old Zoom H1, which I have right here, which is why I'm very interested to get it in, because I've been reviewing uh, different uh, audio recorders. You know, I, I was looking at the Tascam, and now I'm looking at, um, as I really like this Zoom H1 for size, weight, uh, recording quality. The problem here, as I've mentioned before, is this has some audio drift to it. So the time code um, drifts. So that, uh, in other words, when you start recording and I go to sync it with my video, um, it's not synced a minute or two in. It, sh it, it drifts and, and, and uh, moves apart from... So the time code isn't accurate in here, basically. And it doesn't happen in my Zoom H4, uh, which I have uh, this audio, this um, AT2020. It's piped into the Zoom and then piped into the G85 that I'm filming this with. It doesn't happen on that. So I'm wondering if it's because it's a lower-end device, and I'm hoping it's rectified in this Zoom H1. N. The, uh, this is the accessory pack for the H1N. So this has, what does it say, package includes a windscreen, AC adapter, uh, USB cable, adjustable tripod stand, uh, padded st uh, shell case, and a mic clip adapter. So uh, that's pretty cool, and I wanted to get that in with this so that we could see um, all the accessories that goes with it and whatnot. I, I, I had some accessories I do for my Zoom H4. I don't know that I have any I have for the h one, uh, but I don't tend to use them with the H1. Um, the H1 tends to be more my running gun. It fits in a knapsack really nicely. It does great video. I can plug in um, a mic, a lav mic or an earpiece, whatever mic to it, and it'll do the recording. So we've got some paperwork in here, instruction manual, warranty. We've got, uh, they give you some batteries. So we've got some Maxell batteries here. And we've got the H1 in a little um, cloth baggie. I guess you would say. Oh, and you, you could see here, you get the, uh, you can see here, they, it's the same style of look. You could see it's just a newer version. So it looks to be still like the Zoom. We've got um, a dial on here. I think this, from the looks of it, is, is a, vo um, a volume dial. So either for the input of the levels on the mic uh, which I'm thinking that's what it is, or possibly for playback because these do have a speaker in them. This takes for batteries, oh, okay, so it takes the two AAs. So presumably the battery life is going to be better than the H1 because this takes one, uh, well, actually, the H1N takes two triple A's. The H1 takes one double A. I actually prefer the double A because I have more of them for speed lights and things, but long as we're getting better battery life using the two triple a's then i'm okay with that you could see the the, the uh, case back slides off right there and that's where that goes um you got a tripod mount on the back that's handy we've got a little speaker in the front our usb port is in the side here um we got the hold button over here we've got our um our uh, micro sd slot right there we've got a line in for a microphone or line in from another device right there to record. We've got uh, a line out, so for headphones if you want to monitor. On the side, we've got volume controls. We've got this little dial up in here, and I'm going to check and see what that is, obviously. I like the uh, the new... I like the new look of the, uh, without the silver and the way that the protector, the, the cover on the, the uh, XY mics on the top are. We've got more buttons as well. You can see this one just has the, the one single button on the, on the side on the H1. Now we've got a, a row of four across here, and we've got a, um, the, your four, your stop, play, pause, forward and reverse, and then the record button. So I like that for accessibility of, of use. I bet you it's going to be easier to use. The big thing for me, I'm very happy with the quality of this. It's just the time drift, which has been a problem. If this solves that, then I'll be selling this one and picking up or keeping this one here and, and purchasing it. This is on, on, on loan for review from B&H. Um, so I will, uh, if, if that problem is solved, this will be my new super portable one to go along with my H4. Okay, so... That's the uh, the H1N. Let's just open up the uh, the kit here. And again, I'll put links to all this below in the video so you can check it out at B and H. Um, let's see what is in the kit. 
Well, I already told you what's in the kit, but so we've got the uh, the windscreen cover. We've got the little um, tripod. Um, geez, that's really sealed up, and I don't think I have my. I think I don't have my knife here, so I'm not going to open that. But little, little small tripod, you can see. Um, the USB cable. Um, and this is a stand, which... Did they say this was a mic stand? Might be a mic clip adapter. But it, these actually... Um, what I've always used these for, because I have one came with the H4, and I think I have one for the H1, is it's a good handheld uh, if you want to hand hold it. Gives you something to hold on to. Uh, this little hard case actually looks um, looks great. Uh, this kind of it's a soft shell hard case, as it were. So you got some protection here without being super. So it's so it's hard, but it's not like rock solid, like rigid plastic. So great little case. Um, and I've had these for some cameras too. Little hand strap that comes in with that, and uh, so that just slides in there perfectly. You can see it's it's made for it. Um, zips up, and there's a strap on here too for it to go on your belt if you want. So that's handy. Uh, I like that. I like that case. That case alone is a huge uh, reason to buy this kit. I think. Um, I forget what the kit was. Maybe thirty dollars. I'll put a link. You can check it out. Oh, and the adapter. The adapter's huge too. Um, if you're on site, on location, you're probably not going to be using the adapter, but you may have access to um, a wall plug. Uh, but if you're on in your own studio or home or whatnot, recording, that's going to be handy too. So we've got the little AC adapter here, and uh, so that's actually just a it's a wall plug that makes use of the. Um, USB cord, similar to the way a lot of cameras and tablets charge these days. So there you have it. That's all the gear that comes in the accessory pack. Here is the new H1N. There's the old H1 that I'm going to compare it to. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. Basically, I'm just I'm sure the sound quality is going to be as good, but we'll check that out as well. Um, battery life, I'm interested in, and mostly if it does. As good as my H1, but no audio drift, this will be a new acquisition for me. So uh, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.